Hi, I'm Kim. I'm going to talk a little bit today about labels. Labels can be very helpful. You want to know what coffee or tea is on the shelf and um, the label will inform you that. And children also come with labels. You know, second born, um, cheeky, entitled, impatient, and so on. Maybe you can remember some labels from your own childhood. Labels can be quite hurtful and they stick around for decades. And then as a child counsellor, we also come across some other professional labels that children have attached to them. ASD, ADHD, OCD, and so on. And what can happen is once we've heard the child's name, we remember the name, we've seen it written down, we've spoken to them, we've heard other people call their name. And once we've seen a label or heard a label, that also imprints itself in our mind. Whether we like it or not, part of us in session can then be looking for evidence of that. It might be an unconscious quest that we have or an unconscious response when we see some behaviour that's linked to these labels and without us even realising it we'll kind of shut off a little bit from the child themselves. Oh we've gone into our head that's definitely evidence of ADHD that's clearly a correct diagnosis you know. Now children will have had that expression in their faces of these adults just like us from school teachers aunties uncles grandparents other siblings when they have these behaviors so the last thing they need from us in the counseling session is for us to also have that look of ah oh, mm, yeah when children come to counseling especially those young ones you know, the beginning of their lives, they're five, six, seven or eight. They don't understand how the world works yet. And sometimes they get a bit confused about their worth in the world. Dan Siegel has a, um, a lovely little selection of words which he, ha you know, he suggests that we bring to parents. And he says that, uh, you know, children need to be seen and soothed and feel safe and secure. And so by collaborating with parents without, you know, spoiling the confidentiality of what we do with the child, but collaborate with the parents and encourage them to do more of any of those things they're already doing. And, you know, working with working alongside the child with the parents is so important. We're just with the child for, you know, once a fortnight for an hour and then they're in other places with other adults so if we can find those adults that are willing and capable of reflection and making change in their parenting that's a wonderful thing and in the 21st century that really is what the children need and these kind of partnerships with parents um, I originally came across this from uh, Professor Anne Stonehouse who used to work at the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne when I first started my career and she said that this participation with parents or this partnership uh, you know is, is good for lasting change for that child so I, ho I hope this has been a helpful reflection and when you come across a label kind of reflect on that label and what you're doing with it where are you setting it up in your mind is it in the forefront of your mind or is it is it to one side and that the main thing is to be your authentic self with that child client and as much as possible um, have that positive non-judgmental acceptance of who this child is and and then we'll find the pearl and when the child sees our face when we find the pearl of who they are that child will feel seen and safe and secure and soothed by our presence.